Hello everyone and welcome back to Bath Garden Center. Today we're diving into the awesome world of propagating plants. Whether you're an experienced plant parent or you're just starting out, this guide is for you. So let's get our hands dirty and propagate some plants. Before we get started on this hands-on tutorial, let's make sure you have the right tools on hand. You're gonna need a pair of sharp shears or scissors. You're gonna need some glass jars, whether they be repurposed or new, and some isopropyl alcohol to clean your shears in between cuts. So let's hop in and start propagating. Let's start with one of the easiest houseplants, a pothos. You're gonna first start by cleaning off your shears with alcohol to avoid any pests transferring from plant to plant. Then you're gonna find a vine coming off of your mother plant that has a good amount of nodes. You see this one has three nodes total, that first node with the two leaves, that second node, and then the third node. However, we're going to chop right between the second and third node. Then we're just going to clean up that edge. And to avoid any rotting foliage in your water, you're going to want to take off that bottom leaf. You can either use your shears or just pluck it off with your fingers. Once you've got your cutting, you can let that callus for a day and then you can place it in water and watch it grow. Next up is a snake plant. There are multiple ways to propagate a snake plant. However, in this video, we're gonna show you how to take a cutting and propagate it in water. So again, you wanna clean your shears with alcohol. And then we're just gonna take one of these outside leaves and cut clean across. Now, once you have that cutting, you can cut a triangle in the base of the leaf. This allows for more surface area for where roots can form. This propagation will also need a callus for a day before being put in water. Next up is a spider plant. Spider plants are extremely easy to propagate because they essentially propagate themselves. So clean off those shears once again, and then you're gonna find one of the baby spider plants at the end of a stolen. You're gonna find the base, and then the top part where it's attached, you're just gonna give it a little snip. And then that base part is what you're gonna put in water. Next up is a Monstera Deliciosa. The important part about propagating a Monstera Deliciosa is making sure that aerial root is attached to the node. So you're gonna find that aerial root, and then directly below it is where you're gonna cut. Next up is a Dracaena. Dracaenas can be propagated multiple ways, including in water, soil, and by division. Today, we're gonna do this in water, so you're gonna wanna go all the way back to that notch and just cut it, and then you're gonna wanna let it callus over for a day and then place it in water. Next up are succulents. Succulents are another plant that can be propagated multiple ways. You're gonna first wanna take your stem cutting from the mother succulent plant. In this video, we're going to show you how to propagate using dirt. So you're going to want to expose this bottom stem by taking off those leaves, but don't throw them away because they can be propagated using the dirt method as well. Once your stem is exposed, you're going to pat a little hole in your dirt and stick your succulent right in. Eventually, it'll root and you'll have a little baby succulent plant. Last but not least is a heartleaf philodendron. You're going to want to start by finding the growth point at the end of the vine. Then you're going to want to find that first leaf and that second leaf, indicating where your nodes are. Then we're going to chop directly in front of the third node. We're going to cut that back just a little bit for length. And then we're going to remove that sheath covering those roots. We're also going to remove that bottom foliage so that it doesn't rot in the water. This propagation also needs to callus for a day before getting put in water. Now it's time to put those cuttings in water. You're gonna wanna grab your glass jars and fill them with water. You can reuse jars or use new ones. Today we're using a spice jar and then a wall hanging propagation station that we have at the garden center. Once you fill those with water, you're just gonna place those cuttings straight in and watch them grow.
Now let's go over a few other tips that will help you be successful with propagating. Avoid switching out the water regularly for your propagations because the roots of the cut plants secrete rooting hormone. This helps your plants grow roots faster and if you're switching out that water regularly, that hormone gets washed away. Only switch out your water when it begins to look murky and algae begins to form. And one last tip for you guys is that if you want to increase the humidity for your propagations, whether they're in dirt or water, placing a Ziploc bag over the propagations is a great way to do that. And there you have it folks, Plant Propagation 101. We hope you enjoyed this video and that you'll have so much fun with all those plant babies you just propagated. If you like plant content, make sure to subscribe because we post weekly. We hope you have a great rest of your day and we'll see you next time. You enjoy okay. or one, two, three, testing one, two, three.